All right, for a while now, fans have had this game circled on their calendars mm -hmm. with LeBron closing in on NBA history. Laker Nation is buzzing as King James gets ready to inevitably sit atop the points thrown. Yeah. KCAL's Jake Reiner live at Crypto.com Arena where he spoke with some excited fans. Jake. Juan and Susie, the excitement is palpable outside Crypto.com Arena. It's buzzing here in downtown L.A. Just a little bit of perspective for you. If you take a look at the all-time scoring list, the Lakers have seven players that wore the purple and gold at one time or another in the top ten, which is absolutely insane. But tonight, behind me, it's all about chasing that man in statue form right there, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 36 points. Here we go, we'll be cheering him on. 36 points at age 38, and LeBron James becomes the NBA's all-time leading scorer, passing another Lakers legend, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's held the record for nearly 40 years. A record that I never thought would be broken. Mark Rich watched Kareem and the Showtime Lakers. He's been a season ticket holder since 1985. You think he does it tonight? I do. 36 is not out of, you know, that's right in his wheelhouse. Fans from as far and wide as flying in all the way from Brisbane, Australia, New Zealand. We booked this, I don't know, four or five months ago. And right here at home, Jose Guillon's wife with a huge gift. It was my birthday yesterday. She surprised me with these tickets. Um, and I brought my son. We took the day off from work and school, so we're excited. But to witness history isn't cheap. My wife, I think she paid. Uh, Four hundred dollars for for the tick each ticket. It was about eight hundred U.S. Um, for these ones tonight, which is why I'm traveling alone without my wife and kids. And speaking of history, what he's doing, and I hope people are appreciative of this, has never been done before, and I don't think it'll ever be done again. Lakers radio play-by-play -play announcer John Ireland understands the significance of this record being broken by a 38-year-old in year 20 and doing it potentially in 150 less games than Kareem did it. Well, I think LeBron now joins that club as one of the all-time great Lakers. So I, so I asked John if he thinks LeBron will break the record tonight, and he says if he's a betting man, he'd say he breaks the record on Thursday. In my opinion, it's 36 points. He's going to do it tonight. If he wants 36 points, he can do it in his sleep. Back to you guys. <laughs> no 